506. This is Click Here on CHUO FM 89. My name is Mitchell Kaplan. We Do What We Want is the name of a group show at the Hintonburg Public House. It uh, features Mark Adernado, Stephen Frew, and Dan Martlock. All three are with me in the studio. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hello. Yeah. So you guys are uh, all friends. What made you d- decide that you would uh, exhibit together? Uh, well, Mark? I guess it was uh, me. Uh, I originally started talking to uh, the Hintonburg Public House. I was looking at doing a show about uh, something about like robot monkeys, aliens, and prostitution, but uh, we decided that that wasn't the best theme for a show. So I said, "Oh, I better talk to my buddies Dan and Steve, and maybe we can get something together here." So we said, "Yeah, let's uh, let's do a three uh, threesome show." Do you approach an exhibition in a place like in a bar like this differently than you would approach an exhibition in a gallery? Yeah, Steven? I mean, usually there's a theme, and you try to incorporate everybody and and do something that works with everybody. And uh, I don't know, I think I we were thinking about what to name it, and I was like, well, we just, we do what we want, so. Yeah, and that's <laughs> the cool part about having shows, like, outside of the gallery spaces. I think with gallery spaces, you gotta, like, you gotta give them an idea and a proposal so many months in advance. Um, whereas with different alternative venues that we're seeking out sometimes, it's just like, hey guys, if you can put stuff on the walls, great. If you got a theme, even better. But we decided we were like, we're not going to have a theme. We're going to just do what we want and put whatever we want up. So So let's talk about what you have done. Uh, Maybe we'll start with you, uh, Dan. (laughs) Because you've you've got more of a a comical, I guess, uh, side to your work. Yeah, I've often kept that sort of feel to my work and that edge of more of of the lighthearted stuff of work as opposed to the heavy, more... Serious dark stuff. Yeah, I'm tired of serious dark. I'm just kind of stream dark. consciousness, just doodling and it comes out. I think it's cool. Yeah, I just do stuff, and it's I fun. often just do what I like. So this is perfect for me. Plus, we all hang out all the time, so it works out it's well. True. Do you influence team. each other? Oh, definitely. Oh yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, actually, give an we example. Just, uh, we were yeah. complaining the other day on Facebook about how we all copied each other. We, I, I put up a, a picture of a guy wearing a gas mask and antlers. That's my thing. But I put him in a suit. Uh, in a landscape and then I think Steve did <laughs> a guy a moose well, or yeah I think Dan actually put one up then and then uh, earlier that day of a, and then I did an antler one too so I all in suits so they're all like mooses antlers caribous I, I, I'm not wearing a suit anymore. I think we're kind of copying suits. each other now now it's just it's, we might as well just be the same guy really I mean it, it's inevitable it, it, when you see stuff every day it, you get influenced by it so we spend a lot of time together and, and sort of camaraderie and whatnot and so it just happens that we see things and like there's things i love about both these guys work that i don't think i could do and i don't probably shouldn't i don't want to copy but there's definitely things that like man that's cool like i'm gonna try to put that in there a little bit no it's interesting that you talk like this because if i think anyone who saw your work separately didn't see it together would say yeah these guys are doing three very different uh things so so it's Uh, interesting that yeah, I was going to say that's a good point because Steve, I mean, he really focuses on portraitures, his, his yeah, staple stuff. Portrait, yeah. I'm I'm also building instruments and shelving and uh, recombining old antique pieces of stuff to make abstract. And Dan's got his very unique uh, style when it comes to like characters and fun little creatures. Well, it's, I mean, it's like listening to music. You you yeah. don't you want to listen to different stuff. Yeah, you don't want yeah. To. So it is very different, but at the same token, there's certain elements every now and then that we pick out from each other. And stuff. we have our own skills that we sort of exploit, I guess. So Yeah, I'm a good yeah. drummer. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, how did you uh, pick the uh, portraits that you included in this exhibition? Um, I think I just started making some and they were they were available. I, I, I mean, I used a lot of um, pieces on wood. Almost all of them are wood. I do a lot on paper too, but have to frame and whatnot, and HPH, Hindenburg Public House, has a lot of wood, old wood and reused wood, and, and Mark uses wood, so I I use the ones that I did on wood. You guys do uh, laser burning, right? Yeah, that's uh, that's something that I've been really exploring late as of late, is getting into using a laser. And uh, so Do you need training to do this? You have to wear like a mask or something? <laughs> Actually, I'm surprised how easy it is. It's, there, uh, there is radiation involved. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's through Art <coughs> Engine. Uh, there's this, <laughs> this cool arts organization in the arts court called Art Engine, and uh, they let me use their laser. It's wicked. It is, and you can just, I mean, it's like a printer, but you can just burn into wood or burn into plastic or burn, actually, I, this guy burned burned a word into his arm that was just craziness but i mean it's a little crazy yeah it's neat it's a neat uh, exploration tool so it's a new tool that that i think i'm just using it's just something i try to do is keep 
finding something. I get bored easy. So. I keep, yeah, I keep thinking that you don't want to make a mistake with this. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not a tool it's you want to yeah, it, make. It takes a while, too. It's sort of like a printer. and it's something taking in your basement. What's that, Dan? Not something you might have in your basement. Yeah, a lot of radiation. So it's, uh, it's also <laughs> dangerous. But you're not supposed to stare at it. Yeah, well, I mean, you, uh, well, I mean, like, I mean, Mark, you've uh, gone pretty far for your art. I mean, up to, I mean, you. Uh, how, how much money did you do cut apart to oh, uh, for goodness. an exhibition? Yeah, there was an older part, a piece uh, that I did where I, I ripped up three thousand dollars in in Canadian currency, which I still regret sometimes today. But uh, and then I glued it back to canvas to make a Canada flag and a U.S. flag, all out of ripped up money. And uh, yeah, so that that was crazy. That one ended up in the War Museum, and uh, I hope you sold it for more than <laughs> yeah. $3, no, thank God they uh, they actually they, they paid they paid for the exhibition of it, and then they gave it back to me. So which it's in my basement right now. Oh no, sorry, it's in Union Six One Three right now. Yeah, that's anyway, it make is, a lot of people mad saying that. Pretty cool. Yeah, if you go to Union Six One Three, you can <laughs> see this uh, rip on, up uh, on, Don't uh, steal Summer, it. on Somerset, right? Yeah, yeah. it's exactly Somerset near Bank. And uh, they've been, uh, all my work's in there, actually. They're pretty cool. They're really uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, you've got like a permanent uh, space there. Permanent ongoing rotation, solo rotation. Knowing how frugal you are, that's quite a thing. Yeah. This is, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's actually pretty weird. It's pretty wicked, though. Mark, happy. how did you, this, I, I gather your pieces are a bit of a, uh, from different periods of, uh, of your work, the, the ones at, uh, at Hindenburg? Yeah, some of, the, some of the stuff I've been making now is working from the 1880s to the 1930s um, as stuff. So Barnwood, old antiques, radios, uh, typewriters, that kind of really old media equipment, most often cameras and stuff. And uh, I smash it all to pieces and then I kind of reconfigure it into new holes to make uh, art pieces. Um, so it, it uh, yeah, so the, and the pieces are actually themselves close to 100 years old, uh, but I just made them. So they're kind of new. Hey, uh, I mean, tell me a bit about this, you know, looking for being on the lookout for these types of pieces. Uh, a lot of hunting goes on. A lot of uh, estates. Actually, I'm reforming. I I used to go in Kijiji five times a day and <laughs> garage sales and estate sales. Empty hoarder. Yeah, I, I full on had a hoarding issue, but uh, I've Beautiful stopped. Stuff though, that's yeah. okay. Sometimes it's good. No, and I, I've got a very understanding wife. She's uh, wonderful and let me do all that. But uh, no, I've I've stopped doing the hunting. So now I've got enough supplies and source material that I've got. Uh, I mean, easily 400 more pieces. Do you have? Is there one piece in particular that you're just thinking of? How I'm going to use this piece? Um, I was often thinking about that with the antlers. I, at one point, I had 30 sets of antlers in my basement. and then it's, I, it's become a motif in your work. Uh, well, that's yeah, it. Then the I got antler. the 30 gas masks, and I just put them together. Thank God. But yeah, uh, I mean, naturally, they, they go together. You won't share your beautiful antiques with us, though. And I'm, uh, I don't share those frames, man. I could the put frames, some beautiful stuff mine. in there. Keep away. Monkey robots. <laughs> and monkey robots. Yeah. Monkey so, robots. Yeah, so let's talk about some of the other projects that you guys have coming up. Uh, Dan, what are you working on? I'm actually working on a show that I wasn't going to say anything to anybody yet about. Well, it's just us. It's <laughs> just us, well, us four here in the dun, studio. Dun, dun. Um, well, actually, Orange Art Gallery, uh, Stephen Fru and I are both in that art gallery. And um, at Orange, they're moving, which is pretty big this year. They're moving to a really new location, really nice and fun. Amazing building. Yeah. Yes. And then uh, I'm actually trying to plan out a big group show that I was going to send a call to artists out on. And maybe I can start that now. <laughs> yeah. Since I'm on the radio, well, I'm sure. <laughs> some of them, I'm sure, some are okay. listening. Yeah, yeah, contact you. Oh, there. I'm pretty sure a lot of them. We're gonna have a full so, inbox when you get home. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> Stephen, what about you? Um, I'm a little bit different. I mean, I'm always at Orange, and I'm proud of that, and always showing there. But uh, I kind of sit in my basement and paint all night by myself, and I kind of enjoy that. But I'm on Instagram and Tumblr, and I have lots of followers, and people respond, and that's sort of uh, my little gallery and connection with people which i quite enjoy so it's interesting because that means people are they're not seeing the they're not seeing the the, the actual painting they're no. seeing the digital uh yeah which is a flaw but i mean that's the way yeah. it goes and i post it's kind of like four in the morning so i have a lot of vans in like australia japan or like <laughs> sweden and I, I think that's just great so well, maybe you can exhibit there then. yeah i'm hoping I'll, I'll talk to people and definitely mark what about you um, same thing. I'm really starting to get a lot more um, web savvy and media savvy. I just got a new phone, so I got Instagram now and <laughs> that kind of stuff. And uh, welcome to the future. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and website. So I mean, I'm also exhibiting. Uh, I'm looking for alternative spaces. I think that's where the the audiences are that uh, I want uh, to take in and enjoy my work. So finding pubs, restaurants, cafes, um, 
is is uh, something that I focus on, but also getting it on uh, new media. Well, <laughs> old media, new media. What a silly term, but uh, you know, Instagram and the social media, I guess, is uh, is a big thing. I think to get it out there. I don't mind that people aren't enjoying it in person necessarily by taking it in that way. I think that's part of the new world we live in. So if that's the way they enjoy it, so yeah. be it. I've been talking to uh, Mark Adonato, Stephen Frew, and Dan Martlock. Uh, Matt Martlock, uh, they are uh, exhibiting as part of We Do What We Want, an exhibition at uh, Hintonburg uh, Public House, uh, 1020 Wellington. It's on until February the 3rd. Thanks uh, to all three of you for uh, dropping by. It's not often we have all the artists in exhibition. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thank you for having us.